Hi, it's Mike from Microsoft Marks and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a firmware update for your Panasonic Lumix S5 camera. This is going to be slightly different than the S5 II and all the other models, so do pay attention. You do have to have the right firmware upgrade file in order to do this, and there's a few things that you do need to do. Uh, so we're going to go through those. There are some things you will actually need as well. The camera itself, obviously, you are going to need the camera. Potentially, you'll need a card reader for either micro SD or whatever cards you're using in your camera. You'll also need a fully charged battery or alternatively, you can use one of those uh, constant power devices should you wish to, the USB power, that kind of stuff. But they do recommend a fully charged battery. Possibly a mains adapter. Again, if you're using the USB type C to power it, uh, that is pretty much it. Now, something I would suggest as well is because we have to put the firmware onto the card, if there's any images on the card and you're maybe a little bit worried, the best thing to do is just find yourself a, an older card. It doesn't have to be a fast one. As long as it's an SD card or micro SD card in an adapter, you can use whatever you want. Just put it in your camera and format it. And you can put your firmware on this and leave all your pictures on a different card altogether. If you've only got one card, you can use that. It doesn't affect anything. You do need to put the file into the root of the drive, but we'll show you how to do that a little bit later. But other than that, that is pretty much it. One of the stipulations is the battery must be fully charged, or I think it's pretty much over 80% will do. You can charge using the supplied charger. If you're not too sure if your batteries are fully charged and you've got multiple batteries, fun fact, you can actually check the power of your batteries just by using the charger on its own when it's disconnected. If you grab a battery and you're not too sure of its status, you can just pop it in there and it'll come up on there. This one is currently 80%. And this one, which has been on charge, should show at 100. There we go, so 100%. So this is the battery we're gonna use for this particular instance. Again, just make sure your battery is as fully charged as possible. If the battery isn't charged enough, then it will just simply not allow you to do the firmware update. So don't worry about it if you're kind of unsure whether or not it's gonna last. It won't let you do it if it can. So in order to get the file to actually upgrade the firmware on your Panasonic Lumix S5 camera, you are going to need a computer, either a Macintosh or a PC will be absolutely fine. Again, potentially you may need a card reader and we're going to take our card. So let's head over to the computer now. I'll show you how to get it. Don't worry if you're not following along and or it's a little bit too quick for you. There will be links in the video description which will take you directly to the firmware sites. So with that said, let's get on with it. So this is our Windows 11 desktop. Uh, my apologies if you can hear clicking in the background. We have got our wood burning stove lit so it is uh, cracking a little bit. So I've got our micro SD card into the adapter. I'm going to plug it into the PC now. So there we go. This card has been pre-formatted. So close that down. So let's go ahead now and get the actual firmware. So again, links for this will be in the video description. Just want to head over to panasonic.com forward slash global consumer Lumix S firmware update and scroll down through. So these are the models that there's updates available for and the current versions available. So make sure you choose the right one. So if you're on an S5, you want this one. If you're on an S5 II, that one, S5 2X, etc., etc. you get the general idea. So currently the S5 has had quite a few updates, so it's on version 2.6. We'll show you shortly on the camera actually how to check your version before you do it. But at the moment, I know this is newer because I haven't done it for a while and this is virtually brand new at the day of recording. So we're gonna go into Lumix S5 and you'll see on the screen, it actually takes you to the default page for all of the S models anyway. So this is for full frame and system camera and also for lenses. We will be doing a separate video on how to update the lenses, but the uh, the process is basically the same, but I will split it down for the lens itself. And the lenses are just down here. So yeah, if you do want those as well, you can put both of them on the card at the same time. It isn't advisable. Sometimes it can trip up the system if it's, there's two bin files. So I would certainly recommend doing one at a time and erasing the card in between just to save any potential issues. So the one we want here is the DC S5, currently version 2.7, which was released October the 17th, 2023. As you can say, it is new. So click on here. So click on the download page. We'll get another page come up. We'll have to agree to the terms and conditions before we do it. You can also click on here to see the procedure update. So if there's something in this video you're not following, the information is in here as well. Also, when you're happy, click on the download button here and do have to scroll on through and accept the licensing agreement, at which point you'll get a pop-up asking you where you want to save it to. For simplicity, I'm going to choose our Windows desktop 
and this is a compressed zip folder so we are going to have to unzip this so we're going to click save and we see this is downloading here it's not a particularly fast download on their servers unfortunately so do wait for this download section here to be finished before you close the window avoid the download will not complete or will leave you with a partial download so there we go, that is now finished. So we can now minimize this window. Um, we'll minimize that one as well. So this should leave you with a file on your desktop or your download location with a zipped folder. So right click on it and then choose extract all. You can leave all this settings as it is, just leave it to the defaults and choose extract. So this is gonna leave you with a bin file. So this is what you want. As long as it says bin file, that is great. If it says zip or anything else other than bin, so you're going to need to go back a little bit and extract the file again. Once you're happy and you've got your bin file, you can right click on it. You can choose cut or copy, the choice is yours. And then go over to your drive, which is your SD card and just dump it actually in the root. So you should see your DCI folder, your private folder, and then we're going to have our bin file here. So once you're happy with that, you can eject the drive or remove it, whichever you want to do. If you click on eject, you can click on there and it will remove it. So now we can take the SD card out of the card reader and now we can head over to the camera. Okay, so we've got our camera, we've got our battery installed in the battery flap and now we can get our SD card, just pop open the side and you can put it into any of the slots. I've removed the existing one and I've now put in the one with the new firmware on and we can close the door. So if you're not too sure which version of the actual firmware is on your camera at the time, you can just go into the menu set button, go to the spanner icon on the left hand side, then go down to the next spanner icon, scroll down until you get to firmware version. And there it'll tell you which versions you're on. So currently the body firmware is on version uh, 2.3. So that's quite an old one. We're going up to 2.7. The lens is currently on version 1.0. So that also needs updating because the lens has an update to version 1.1. So you have the option. As you can see if I toggle that. So there is a one called firmware update. So choose firmware update. And when you're happy, you can click on the center button. And it will start flashing the new firmware. So it's read the firmware, it's happy with it, it's telling you the version, and it says, do you want to start the update? The default setting on here is no. So we're gonna go over to the side and choose yes, and then press the middle button. And there we go. So now we are updating the firmware. It says there, do not operate any of the buttons on the camera. I think that is uh, pretty much common sense. You shouldn't really be doing anything with the camera when it's updating. So we're just going to let it carry on, do its thing. Don't press anything and ideally, obviously, don't disconnect the power. This is one of the reasons why you should use a fully charged battery, if at all possible, because if you're using some kind of mains powered device, there's always the potential that the mains could trip out or possibly cable come unconnected, disconnected, all that kind of stuff. So it's safer to do it with the battery because the unit is going to be battery powered. You'll also find whilst you're doing this, the Bluetooth flashing light, which is just up here by one of the command dials, will be flashing blue to say that it's updating. Then you'll get to the point where the camera will stop, reboot itself and go back to the beginning. Just make sure that the red light on the side isn't on and then you can go on and basically carry on using your camera. So we press the middle button again now, we can go to firmware version and you can see now body firmware is now set to version 2.7. So that is effectively it. So now you can quite happily turn off your camera. So now we can take out our firmware SD card. Again, if you're doing this with just your regular card, you can leave it in there. But for uh, the sake of protecting my files, I've done that. So that is it, pretty much done. Um, if you want to at this point, you can update your lens as well. We'll do a separate video on that, but essentially it's exactly the same process. Just get the firmware for your specific lens. So there you go. That is how to update the firmware on your Panasonic Lumix S5 camera. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, more tech related though, then uh, hit the subscribe button and the channel notification. If you're notified of future video releases, 
As always, if you get any problems or you've got any questions regarding this video, please feel free to reach out in that comment section below. Or alternatively, you can join our Discord to ask any technical questions you may have. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.